everybody. Welcome to Rose City Comic Con. This is Comics with Bueller. As always, I'm Bueller. I'm here with none other than Jerry Conway. Jerry Conway, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I am doing fantastic because I'm sitting next to someone who created The Punisher, which is co-created, uh, which is one of my favorites. So let's just jump right into The Punisher. You know? Well, uh, The Punisher was, was originally supposed to be a uh, secondary character to introduce uh, the Jackal, who was going to be a through-line character for several issues. And the idea was you, you create a secondary henchman who's interesting enough uh, to make the more important main character villain look tougher. Uh, but as we were developing the art and uh, the story and the character, we realized we had a much more interesting character than just a throwaway one-shot villain. So are you... Uh do you still have confidence that the Jackal will catch on? <laughs> well, he did ultimately catch on, so that was good. Uh, but uh, it served the purposes of the story. And then it was happily, we also ended up with a character that uh, has had a longevity that is kind of surprising for me. It's, yeah, he's been around a long time. So I want to, uh, for some of my viewers that aren't familiar with your other work, uh, can you kind of run down, I know you have a huge history, but some of the bullet points, some of the ones that people are going to be aware of? Well, uh, if you watch the CW shows, I have a lot of characters that are uh, currently on those shows. Uh, I created a character called Vibe, uh, another one called Vixen. Uh, Vibe, and, Vibe is on Flash, uh, Vixen is on uh, Legends of Tomorrow, Firestorm of course uh, was on Legends of Tomorrow, uh, Killer Frost, she's on Flash. Uh, Felicity Smoke on Flash. Um, we've got, uh, obviously, on Netflix, uh, the Punisher series. Uh, Killer Croc was in the Suicide Squad movie. That was one of my characters. Uh, uh, I've, I've been fortunate that, uh, you know, I, I did comic book characters, created some characters back in the late 70s, early 80s, around the time that uh, many of today's uh, TV and film creators were kids and they fell in love with those characters. So what's it like seeing all these characters now on the big screen and small screen and all the the mainstream that they are now? Oh, that must be kind of, it's a whole different world now. It's it's a different world and it's kind of surreal. Uh, you know, we have to remember that back in the 70s, I think we thought the comic book business was going to die off in five or ten years. Uh, as it turned out, uh, had a little bit more uh, more time in it than that. So I asked this question, I interviewed Jim Shooter uh, a few months back, and I asked him, was there any book that holds a special place in his heart? Do you feel the same way about any of your books, any special one? Oh, sure. The Death of Gwen Stacy, obviously, uh, is the, probably the, the book that will be in my uh, epitaph, uh, my obituary, you know, the man who killed Gwen Stacy and co-created The Punisher. So that, I, I am proud of that story. I think it was pretty well done, and uh, it seems to have had you know, some uh, some legs. It definitely had some legs. Jerry, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time. And uh, when, where are you going to be out next? Do you have another event scheduled? This year. Uh, I'm done for the year. Uh, this is the last con I'm going to. But next year I should be at a con near you. <laughs> All right, everybody. As always, this was Comics with Bueller with Jerry Conway. Thank you so much. We'll see you next time.